On this episode of Sloan's Wilderness Expeditions, we hike one of the most popular trails in Everglades National Park, learning the history, looking for wildlife, and exploring a tropical hammock forest. The Anhinga Trail and Gumbo Limbo Trails can be found at the Royal Palm Visitor Center, located just four miles from the Homestead Park entrance. The Royal Palm area actually predates the Everglades National Park, as Royal Palm State Park was established in 1916, and the National Park wasn't established until 1947. Hey fellow expeditionists, we're at the Royal Palm Visitor Center in the Everglades National Park. We will check out the Anhinga Trail. So it is about 9 a.m. Temperature is about 68 degrees right now. So that may affect also how much wildlife we see out here this morning on the Anhinga Trail. So I'm sure as the day warms up, you'll see a lot more alligators and such come out to sun themselves. This area was first explored by land surveyors in the mid 19th century. And scientists revered this land due to its botanical diversity. At the time, the land was owned by Henry Flagler the developer that built the Overseas Railroad across the Florida Keys. To avoid development of this land, multiple conservationist groups called for Paradise Key to be set aside as a state park. They succeeded, with the state establishing Royal Palm State Park in 1916. It was these kind of conservation efforts that would eventually lead to the designation of the Everglades as a national park. The Anhinga Trail is only eight-tenths of a mile long, mostly on boardwalk out into the sawgrass marsh. This morning, we were mostly seeing cormorants, swallow-tailed kites, purple gallinule, and the occasional alligator. So the Anhinga Trail, for us at least this morning, has been more the Cormorant Trail. Still cool to see, a few gators out there. I'm sure as the day heats up, there'll be even more. In the meantime, I think we're also going to do the Gumbo Trail, which is also right up here. All right, so we now leave the slough that is the Anhinga Trail. We're heading on to Paradise Key, adjacent to the slough which is the Gumbo Limbo Trail. And this area has been devastated at one time from wildfire, and then more recently devastated by Hurricane Andrew, and yet it is still thriving. Let's check out this interesting trail. The Gumbo Limbo Trail is about a half mile loop through a tropical hammock featuring the Gumbo Limbo trees, royal palms, ferns, air plants, and more. Probably one of the most diverse ecosystems we've had the pleasure to walk through. The gumbo limbo trees are often called the tourist tree because their bark is a reddish color that is often peeling, much like a sunburned tourist. This is what a Purdue botanist student does. Yep. <laughs> so here we have one of the giant royal palms. But even in this awesome place on these kind of trees, we have tourons otherwise known as North American knucklehead. They like to carve on the trees. Some of these trees to me are just amazing. They got all these ferns and air plants and epiphytes. 
growing on them. It's a whole forest on a forest. There you can see the evidence from the hurricane damage from years ago when Hurricane, Dan uh, Hurricane Andrew came through. And you see it is still supporting life. So the Gumbo Limbo Trail here crosses this path. This is actually the Ingram Highway. It was the first road ever built that connected Homestead, Florida to Flamingo down at the end of the Everglades. It was just a dirt path. It's always interesting running across these little bodies of water down here. You just never know what you might find in them. Just imagine how many dead bodies could be found in there and they'd never be found. <gasps> So that does it for the Gumbo Limbo Trail. So we're back out here at the little visitor center. Uh, you can get a little better view now of the Royal Palms this area was named for. Of course, there used to be a lot more prior to the hurricane damage it had received. 